Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thanks for stopping by the channel. Now this next fly we're doing is the fourth one in our ring neck pheasant skin series. You might recall this is one where we've gotten volunteers to tie flies that predominantly use this ring neck pheasant skin. Now, if you recall, we had some pretty fun patterns from Edward and Jamie in the last couple of weeks. Now, today's fly is by Ted Tarrant from Virginia. Ted's calling this one the Old Rag All-Purpose Nymph. Now, if you're not familiar with Virginia, Old Rag Mountain, that's uh, one of the most famous mountains, just smack dab in the center of the, the state. It's on the eastern half of the Shenandoah National Park. Now, it's a very famous mountain for hikers. I mean, there's a nine and a half mile circuit, and then I think a five and a half mile out and back. But what I really like about Old Rag area is just so many great rivers, trout streams there. Now, Ted fishes the Hughes and Robinson and Rose rivers, uh, and their headwaters are right there at Old Rag Mountain. There's also some great brook trout tributaries there. You've got Cedar Run and White Oak Canyon. Now, I fished these rivers this past summer, and I can tell you, there's nothing more beautiful in the state than all these rivers in the Shenandoah National Park. I mean, you're not far from the Rapidan Wildlife Management Area, too, so there's just all kinds of great water there. So Ted fishes these rivers a lot, hence the name, the Old Rag AP. Now, one of the coolest things about this fly is every feather in it comes from this ringneck pheasant skin. He took the tail from some of the brown fibers down here on the both sides, and then the marabou is just from the underside of these feathers right here. And then the wing is a very small black feather from around the neck right here. So what exactly is this nymph going to imitate? Well, it's kind of a generic. Um, tie it small enough, it's going to be a great mayfly imitation, and a little bit bigger to be a stonefly. So it's not going to look exactly like any nymph, but it's going to look enough like both of these. But what's really going to make this thing work is it's got some soft hackle for the, the tail and then a little bit of the marabou in the throat. So I think this thing is just going to look alive in the water. I think it's going to fool a lot of fish, and I really think we got a winner here. So let us know what you think in the comments about Ted's old rag all-purpose nymph. So there it is in the vise. Ted Tarrant's old rag all-purpose nymph. Kind of reminiscent of a zug bug with this wing on there the way it is. Now I'm tying this on a size 10. It's a 2x long nymph hook and I'm going to put down about nine wraps of 020 weight. Now did I say I was tying this on a size 10 or 12? I forget what I just said but it is a size 12. Ted tied his on a size 10, and he had 10 wraps. That's why I just put nine wraps, because mine is a little bit smaller. So I'll put a dam behind it, then take the thread up to the front, dam it up there, and then bring the thread back to the bend of the hook. Now you might have noticed I spent a little extra time trying to get that taper between the weight and the hook. I think it, uh, it helps a little bit later on. So what you want to do next is take one of the big brown feathers that I showed you a minute ago, and they're a little bit marabou-like, a little bit fluffy, and I'm going to, well wait, before we do that, let's tie in the tail. So one of the feathers that's a little bit less marabou-like, and take the, just just pull some of the, See, the little clump of them right here, they're kind of marabou on the that, but not so much on the tips. So a good handful of them. And I'm not making a real long tail, but it's, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger than the, the gap of a hook. So let's try this one right here and see how that looks. Two wraps. Okay, I think that's the size I want. I'm gonna leave this in here just to help bury this up until I get to that weight. Now we can go ahead and snip this off. And our next component is some UTC wire. Now Ted tied his original with a black and a size brassy. This is a size smaller because I did not have black and a brassy and I wanted to stick to the original as best I could. But I do think this fly would look pretty good if you used a a gold or a brighter colored um, wire rib. So something to consider, you know, experiment and play around with it. Okay, now we're gonna wrap the body. This is the interesting part. So another one of these big 
fluffy marabou-like feathers with some really long barbules. And I'm just going to, you might want to wet your fingers just like you would marabou and then tie it in just by the tips. I've got the tips pointing forward and I'm gonna tie it in right there. And let's just bury these in. If you didn't have a real good taper between your the hook and your body, now would be a good time to fix that. But if you're dead, then you're already good. So, okay, what we do here is we spin this. I pulled some of the fluff off so I can grab it by the, the bare stem, and I'm gonna spin this into a rope. And I'm gonna wrap it all the way up to where my thread is hanging, and that's gonna be the, the main part of our body. So you might pull some of these up here and then keep spinning it. Now don't worry if some of these, you know, don't get caught up in your, your spinning rope. We can trim them off before we're done. So maybe every two wraps on the hook, you might need to give it another little spin and pull some of these up. So just try to maintain this, you know, this rope right here as we go and then give it a couple of spins as needed to keep the body from, you know, you don't want it to get too bulky on you right here. I think that's gonna be fine right there. I'm gonna go ahead and catch it off. That might be a little bit more than half, but that's fine. That's really kind of what I want. So let's go ahead and snip this big clump off right here. Take a couple of extra wraps just to really lock that in. Now. Let's counter wrap this wire. Evenly spaced wraps, fairly close together. It's just really gonna lock this, this feather body in and make the fly a lot more durable. Okay, when you've got it up the front, maybe two thread wraps. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Just take it up there right in front of that wire that weight and spin it off now there's our body we might have a little cleanup a little trimming to do but i think that's going to work just fine right there so the next component pearlescent flash and a size large we're going to tie this on as a basically as just a little wing case just right on top couple of wraps and then check your position. Yeah, we're coming off the, the top right there pretty good. So go ahead and lock that in. I'm gonna smooth this out again, make sure I've got a, a better taper right there. Now, this is where Ted must be just a genius or master fly tire, because what he did, he took some of this marabou from that feather we just pulled out and spun it in a dubbing loop. Now I thought that was amazing and I tried it and mine looked terrible. So I'm gonna cheat here, Ted. I hope you don't mind too much. But what I'm doing, I'm taking this same little, little feather, you know, that big brown feather we pulled out that we wrapped as a body, right under it, you have this very thin, you know, pretty, I won't say it's too brittle, but it's just, it's not real strong, but it's very pliable. So I'm gonna just catch this in and then wrap it like I would dubbing. So I'm cheating a little bit. Instead of using a, a dubbing loop, you know, I did a couple like that and they were just a little bit sloppy, a little bit messy looking. So I think this is a little bit easier. Just tie this in and then let's just wrap it around. Two wraps is really all you're gonna need. And even with that, we're gonna have to trim a lot of these with our, well, with our fingers, because it, it is like a CDC marabou type feather. So just two thread wraps here to catch this in. Now, and don't worry that it's a big buggy mess right now, because we're gonna pluck some of these out in just a minute. So I'm pushing them a little bit down into the back while I wrap this thread back to really lock them in. And now let's just pull this wing case over. You can use it to help situate some of that, 
that gray marabou if you want. So let's get this wrapped in here. Two tight wraps right there. We've got a little bit of flash on top. I don't want it to go too far up just yet. So let's go ahead and snip this off. Now before I'm going to tie in the wing, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean this up. It'll just be easier to do before we get the wing tied in. So what you can do, treat this kind of like you would CDC. So you grab it and pinch it and then, you know, between with your thumb and your finger and you can just kind of break it off by pinching it. See if, let me see if you can see in the camera what I'm just pinching it tight and then plucking it. And that will, will give you the, you know, it won't, I, I guess I'm trying to say you don't really want to cut it because then you'll have, you know, sharp, a sharp tip. So just by pinching and plucking, it's going to look a lot better and it's going to keep that natural look through the water. So you might even want to pull a, a few more out than that, but you know, I'm going to leave that because I, I think I kind of like it with the, the longer legs and the gills. Now the last component and kind of what makes this remind me of a zug bug are these little feathers right here up near the neck and if you look at them catch them in the light right they've got a little bit of green sheen to them a little blue but mostly they're black so I'm taking two of these just gonna lay them right on top of each other and we're gonna lay them on about half the length of the body so I think maybe right there let's see how that looks just put a couple of wraps right here and and then check the position Okay, I think that's going to be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and lock them in and then snip off the front excess right here. And we're going to have some cleanup on this for sure. So I'm taking my thread right back to the eye and I'm going to build this little ramp, get a nice clean head that I can put a drop of head cement on. Got a little bit of fuzz right there. But let's go ahead and wet finish it and then we'll worry about the cleanup. Okay, so critiquing this one, where's some cleanup? I've got a stray fiber right there. My tail looks fine. And I've got some fibers right here. And we might want to just, you know, pluck a few more out of this with your legs and your, I mean, it's not a scud. So let's just, you know, pull a few more of these out right here. Thin it up a little bit. And there you go. I think this is a, a fishable fly right there. I'm gonna put some head cement on it and then put this in my box. So there you go, folks. Ted Terrence, old rag, all purpose nymph. Pretty cool looking pattern. I think this is gonna be really buggy. I think it's gonna do pretty well here, so. That's all, my friends. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.